So when I started learning about in cloth and simulating cloth, one of the first things I was told was to always sim on a mesh comprised of quads and not to sim a triangulated mesh. So I didn't, but I always wondered why, you know, the nucleus solver is this amazing thing. Why can't it handle triangles? Well, after experimentation and research, I found out it can handle triangles. So why do so many people prefer quads and over triangles? Well, I think I know why and I thought I'd share it with you. So let's go to whoops let's go to Photoshop someplace here and let's talk about in cloth so we've got the nucleus cloth or in cloth which is pretty much a stable system of linked particles that can simulate polygon surfaces. And yes, polygons, that means you cannot put in cloth on NURBS. So we have a quad here and we have a set of triangles here left to right and we apply in cloth so that means we have a particle here 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 and here basically at the intersection of every edge so we have uh, particles here as well and we have a link on every edge so We have particles we have links So when we have a triangle, got a link here. And you would think that with this extra edge, you would have increased stability, but that's actually not the case because on a quad there are a special set of links generated between particles that aren't connected so we'll have something that go out this way this way that way and that way and these are cross links And these cross links here maintain the angle between links. So you're maintaining these angles here. And they also maintain the general shape of your quad. Because there are no links generated here, you lose that increased stability but a plus side is this will simulate faster. And what you get here is
which also means collisions are better and you don't get as much inner penetration as you would with triangulated mesh. So, what in the world does all of that mean? Well, let me show you. Because I know you are just dying to know. Name everything. I'm going to tell you that about 11 million more times. And before we apply end cloth, let's make sure the pivots are centered. Let's freeze the transformations and let's delete the history so all of that history isn't included in the calculations. So here we go. You can go to your end cloth tab or your in mesh menu. If you're using Maya 2008, this will say end cloth and so will this. So let's create end cloth. And let's create in cloth. And let's name these as well. Let's expand this. And let's create a ground plane. Now, personally, I don't like to use ground planes because more times than not the floor in your scene will not be directly on the um, grid and yes you can um, move your ground plane by using these three things here you can make it higher lower go to the left right back forth but sometimes you'll also have a situation where your ground isn't even and this ground plane really won't help you much so I tend not to use it but for the sake of this example I will Let's go back and before I play this I'd like to show you these links that we found out about here and you can see your links by going to the collision section and under solver display select stretch links and let's go ahead and do that for both you can see here on our mesh of quads that links were created along the edge and our our cross links were created as well and we can see that on our triangulated mesh these cross links don't exist And let's hit play. And we can see here that the shape of our quad has been maintained and there's a bit more folding here. And a lot of times when you use a triangulated mesh to do your simming on you'll get a little you'll get more um, inner penetration and that is not a good thing but if you find that you prefer the way this looks or that you really need your sim to be faster then you can still use um, a mesh of quads which is what I really like and you can remove these cross links by scrolling down to your quality settings and unchecking this box at cross links. Now hit back to refresh and you'll see that our cross links are gone. And you can always put them back by checking that box again. Go back and there they go. So I personally prefer quads, but if you if you like triangles, you can use them and they still work. And 
that's all I really have to say about that.